Hello friends. In this video we will learn about natural disasters. The world around us is beautiful, but there are changes that kept happening in the atmosphere, the earth's crust and oceans. Sometimes these changes lead to disasters and damage life and property. Earthquake Tsunami Cyclone Volcano Droughts An earthquake is defined as the sudden shaking of the surface of the earth due to violent movements or vibrations inside the earth. The earth's crust is made up of different plates. The layers of the earth under the plates are hot and in a molten state because the core below is extremely hot. These layers under the plates are constantly moving. Usually such movements cause the plates to slide smoothly against each other. However, at times the movements between the plates can be sudden giving rise to earthquakes. The point under the ground where the disturbance first occurs is called focus. The point on the earth's surface which lies just above the focus is known as the epicenter of the earthquake. During an earthquake, tremors travel from the earth's interiors to the surface and shake the ground. The April 2015 Nepal earthquake occurred at 11.56 NST on 25th April. Its epicenter was east of the district of Lamjung. It was the worst natural disaster to strike Nepal since the 1934 Nepal Bihar earthquake. A seismograph is used to detect the strength of the waves generated by an earthquake. The pattern that is obtained by a seismograph is known as seismogram. The intensity of an earthquake is measured by using the Richter scale. An earthquake measuring 3 on the Richter scale is not even felt. An earthquake measuring 4 to 5 is felt as tremors, while an earthquake measuring 7 and above has the capacity to destroy an entire city. Collapsing of buildings and trees, resulting in people getting injured or dying. Causing landslides in hilly regions. Triggering of tsunamis in oceans and lakes. Leading to fire in case of damage to power lines. Buildings should be engineered in such a way that they are quake safe. As the tremors begin, people should evacuate the building immediately and move to open spaces. One should not use escalators and lifts. If getting out of the room or building is not possible, then follow these three simple steps. Drop on the ground, cover yourself under a table or solid surface and hold till the tremors stop. A tsunami is said to occur when a huge volume of water is displaced in the ocean, generating large waves. The displacement may be caused by an underwater earthquake, volcanic eruption or an explosion. Small waves generate at the point in water and move towards the shore. They swell up into gigantic waves. Greater damage is caused by the high-speed waves and debris of tsunami. 
it submerges the low-lying coastal areas. High-speed gigantic water waves and debris destroy trees, buildings and bridges completely. It is difficult to escape a tsunami. People should follow the warnings and instructions telecast by authorities. 26 December 2004 is believed to be the deadliest tsunami in history, killing more than 2,30,000 people across 14 countries. It began at 7.59 am local time on December 26, 2004, when a 9.1 magnitude quake struck off the northern tip of Sumatra in Indonesia. Cyclones are a common occurrence in the coastal areas of India. A cyclone is a very strong wind accompanied by very heavy rain. The strong winds and rain damage houses and spoil crops. They can even blow down electric lines. Weather forecasters study the weather. They can predict a flood or a cyclone. Volcanoes are Earth's geologic architects. They've created more than 80% of our planet's surface, laying the foundation that has allowed life to thrive. Their explosive force crafts mountains as well as craters. Lava rivers spread into bleak landscapes. But as time ticks by, the elements break down these volcanic rocks, liberating nutrients from their stony prisons and creating remarkably fertile soils that have allowed civilizations to flourish. A volcano is a mountain with an opening on its mouth. The mouth of the volcano is connected to a pool of molten rocks present below the surface of the earth. These molten rocks are called magma. When the pressure of the gases and heat under the earth increase, the magma comprising gases and rocks rushes upward through a vertical tunnel called a vent, and shoots out through an opening on the surface called the crater. The magma that reaches the earth's surface is called the lava. As the lava cools, it solidifies and forms rocks. Active volcanoes erupt any time as they remain active. For example Mount Fuji and Mount Erebus. Dormant volcanoes have not erupted several years but can erupt any time. For example, Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania and Mount Nakandam in Andamans. Extinct volcanoes are extinct and not expected to erupt in future. For example, Zitwal volcano in Netherlands is an extinct volcano. A drought is a dry period, with rainfall far below the normal rate. If there is no rain, there is not enough water for everyone. Reservoirs, ponds and lakes dry up. Farmers do not have enough water for their crops. Crops die and there is less food. In severe drought, people may even die because of the shortage of food. <laughs>